When it comes to Squarespace, some of us seasoned designers who've been working on the platform for a decade appreciate the little details more than anything else. And today I'm going to cover a feature that I've been asking for for quite some time, and it's great to see it now integrated into the platform. It saves time to use custom code, which also saves the need to upgrade to a higher plan on Squarespace just to get this feature working. And we're talking about anchor links in our site. And if you don't know what that is, essentially, I could go to the bottom of this page. So I'm on SquareForge, our Squarespace template builder. Go and check it out on squareforge.net. If I wanted to fast track a link to this section of a page, whether I'm linking through from another page in a menu system from here, for example. So if I was to click on this link, it could theoretically take me not just to the home page, but to this section of the home page. Likewise, we can use a list of links at the top of the page that will fast track you to various regions of the page. It also means that we can create a menu system that will link to anchors on the same page. So if you wanted one long scroll page instead of having multiple pages, if you want the best from Google and SEO, I wouldn't recommend that. But say you wanted that option, now we can do it quite easily within Squarespace. So without delaying it any further, let's go and show you how to do that. So I've got a playground page set up. If I can find it, and the demo page is here. So this is a test page. I just throw in loads of different types of content. It's got loads of our section designs that we've created in SquareForge that you can use. And you can see this one at the bottom here. I've been tweaking and playing around with it in a previous tutorial. So what I'm going to do is go to edit section, scroll to the bottom, and that's where we can find the anchor link. So any section now has an anchor link option. And let's just call this features. That's the first half done. What we need to do now is click on this copy link option. And now we can go to this option here and add in the button. So I've put one in as a test just to check everything is working before recording. I'm good to you. And we can add a button. We can highlight the text and we've got the same link option via there, but we're going to add it in as a button. And let's go with a tertiary button. So quite a simple button style. And we're going to go for quite a small button. The hit area here isn't actually ideal. You can see it's quite small. Let's see if we can increase the height of that button. No, I don't think it will work like that. What we can do is reduce the height and then maybe spread this button over two blocks. There we go. We'll go with that. Just working on spacing. And we can put this as features. In fact, what we're going to do is duplicate this as well. So we'll use two anchors and the, the first one will be job board. Second one will be features. So I put the titles in. Now I need to attach the link. So we've got one on the clipboard already. So I'm going to paste that in and we can see it's going to home hyphen one, a terrible naming convention, but this is just our playground page, which doesn't matter. This page is actually hidden by Google, but generally you don't want to dash one. You want unique page names for every page because Google will use that to help rank your website. It won't be the difference between beer and top of the first page or bottom of the third page on Google, but it one of those little details that, that can help. So find a good naming convention for your pages. That first anchor points in place. This one's only a tiny scroll down to get to it. So I'm just going to increase the height of this hero section so that we have a more obvious transition. And now if I edit this section, what we can do is go to the bottom again and add in a new anchor link. And so next up, I'm going to call this job board. I could put a hyphen in if I wanted to, I'm not bothered in this case, double click on the button. Now click on attach link and once more, paste it in. Just seeing if there's an anchor option in the menu. No. So this isn't quite as slick as the rest of the link options where you can actually select it from a list, but it's pretty good. And in fact, it's, it's hugely beneficial to have this feature in place. So I'm certainly not complaining in the slightest. So we're going to exit this, go into preview mode. Now we've saved those options and let's test the first link. Nice. If we check the second one, very nice. So we can see it's, it's actually going beyond the bar at the top of the section. So if we just check it one more time. Uh, 
and actually go into the first section of the content block within the section. So I think it ignores the padding. We'll have to test that a little bit, but that's not a major problem at all. So now we've got anchor links and yes, we can link to them from, from menu items at the top. Let's very quickly add in a menu. I shouldn't be doing this with a live site, but let's add a link. And I hope this works. I've not tried it yet, but we're going to put in the link. So it's a relative link, everything after the main domain name. That's really important because we're working on the development domain name here and we want to keep them on the main domain name in this case with forge.net. So by putting a relative link, because it's in the same site, we don't have to put the full URL and I'm just going to call it anchor. Okay. So we've got that in the top menu now. And if I was to click on it, if I was to go to the home page and now click on our anchor page, it reloads the page and goes straight to the job board section. So to get around the issues where it's been a bit cramped, if you're going to use this, maybe use extra padding above and below the content. I've got the overlapping logo here, but when I go to full screen preview, that's not an issue either. And so, yeah, that's how we can add anchor links. I'm going to go and remove that option from this live website. It's my own platform, so I'm only upsetting myself there. And that's it. That's how we can add anchor links, both within the same page, from external pages, and even in the main navigation or link buttons, etc. Really simple yet powerful tool that can help our user experience on our Squarespace sites. And I want to hear from you now. Have you been using this already? What do you propose to use it for? Is this something more creative that I haven't covered in this video? It'd be great to hear from you. Otherwise, I'll catch you next time. Cheers. Thank you.